Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Ion Energy's channel, Mongolia's first lithium brine explorer and developer. Joining us, as always, we have Chief Executive Officer Ali Haji. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's always good to be here. Always a pleasure to have you, man. You guys have been dropping a lot of big news. You've been visiting the sites in Mongolia. And first and foremost, I want to talk about uh, some of the recent discoveries because you found a significant uh, lithium brine at the uh, Erga Nassin Lithium Project, 29,000 uh, pack or 29,000 hectare land package there. Can you kind of break down some of the discovery and what kind of uh, mineral resource you're finding there? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, having been on site, which we'll cover in just a second, we were able to obtain brine samples from surface of essentially natural evaporation ponds, uh, very similar to the work that was done by Lithium Americas and Neolithium before those companies became the behemoths that they are today. You know, the vast majority of the work in the early days was collecting brine on surface using your rudimentary Coca-Cola bottle or whatever you had. Uh, in our case, we had some water bottles. We collected the brine on surface in those natural evaporation ponds we took those samples back to Ulaanbaatar in the capital. We had them assayed in country. And shortly thereafter, uh, we've received those results. So as you rightly mentioned, 918 milligrams per liter of uh, lithium seen, um, which is a, a brilliant result given what you might find in one of the other uh, sort of solars in Latin America. So we're extremely excited about that. From an exploration perspective, we've also done 72 holes across the entire basin, 820 meters odd of uh, drilling there. 427 samples have now been submitted to the labs. We've done seven of eight TEM lines, and that's about 88 line kilometers. So we're extremely pleased with this what, uh, with this result, which would ultimately be looked at as a, a world-class discovery. And what did you guys see on the ground there? I mean, it must have been uh, quite a trip to go all the way over there with your technical team and kind of get a full uh, hands-on experience of the uh, the project. It's, you know, the pandemic had uh, set us back a bit. If you look at our competitors in, in the lithium triangle, a lot of the necessary skill set to advance lithium projects exists in those countries. Mongolia, we are first movers in that space. So we were, un we were unable uh, to get work done that would rival the quality or the caliber of those folks that live in the lithium triangle, live and work in the lithium triangle. Uh, we had the opportunity to go out to site uh, about a month ago now. We took with us Don Haynes, a uh, very seasoned uh, lithium hydrogeologist that's worked on essentially every asset on the planet, uh, as well as Dr. Mark King, who was the qualified person on file for Neolithium when they sold to Zijin. He also was, in fact, one of the individuals that wrote the first 43 101s for Lithium Americas. So very, very foremost industry experts with us on site had the opportunity to drive through Bavayol, as well as Urgachnar and collect samples, evaluate the drilling programs, train the hydrogeologists, and really get a sense of the lay of the land. Um, it, it suffices to say, if you look at our previous press releases, that they are extremely encouraged with what they saw. Um, they, they think that it, it mirrors very much the playas of the Solaris of the Americas. And now that we've done all this good work that I've just mentioned, it's about waiting for those exploration results and continuing to update the market on what, what, what we think are two fantastic assets. And when can we expect to see some of these results coming back down the wire? Yeah, so the 918 MGL to it today, uh, that was the one sort of brine sample collected uh, while we were there. And it was quite easy to do because the lab would have to process one sample. So they were able to, to bring that along quite quickly. Uh, but I would expect that we have uh, some additional results in about uh, three to four weeks time. If they happen sooner than that, of course, they will be shared with market. Uh, but we think it's a busy year ahead uh, with respect to both Urgat Nara and Baba Yol. And uh, stay tuned. I appreciate those insights. And I want to pass the question off to our viewers at this point. We'd love to know what you guys think in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as that news comes down the wire, we'll of course continue to update you here. But on that note, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.